guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all of the stocking stuffers that I got for my kiddos this year. Um, I'm really excited about a lot of the things that I got. I kind of had a hard time finding things for Weston stocking just because it's hard for me to think of small things that he can actually, you know, have <laughs> in his stocking. If you don't know, he's 16 months old and he has Down syndrome. So like physically, like muscle developmental wise like socially he's great but like his muscle tone is low so it takes him a little bit longer to reach certain milestones than it does a typical child so he's 16 months and he's not crawling yet and that's kind of where we are so that's why i kind of had a little bit of a trouble picking out things for his stocking that he can you know actually play with um without putting it in his mouth and choking you know what i mean but um, I'm going to show you everything that I got for both of my kids' stocking, starting with Riley, my three-year-old daughter. There are a couple things I'm not 100% sure if it's going to fit in her stocking or not. If it won't fit in her stocking, I'll just wrap them and put it under the tree with everything else. So I'll start with those items first. These are the ones that I'm not sure will fit in her stocking. I'm going to start off with this one. I got her that little classic game of pickup sticks. And... Don't worry, she will be closely monitored while playing this game. Um, but I got it because she's starting to show interest in playing games. And a lot of the little kid games I don't really like. <laughs> like Feed the Pig or Don't Step on the Poop. or It's just not up my alley. I like a lot of the classic games. Um, and if you watched my What I Got My Kids for Christmas video, which would be the one right before this one, I did get her Candyland, so she did get a board game, but I wanted to also get her something like this so that, you know, we could teach her how to play games and follow rules and that type of thing. But um, she will be closely monitored when playing with these. Do not worry. But um, I got this at the Mississippi Agricultural and Forestry Museum in the general store there. Um, they were $5. I got her... She loves these. It's like the little magic marker thing where it only colors on this book, like the paper in this book, so it's not messy. She loves these, so I got her the little Sophia the First one. And I think I got this from Books A Million, um, but it was $3.99. And if I can find these things to link in the description box below, I will, but I'm not going to make any promises. This was also from Books A Million. These are little um, things that you put in water and they grow. It's got like um, like a unipopsicle. There's a unicorn everything these days. Um, it's got a little wiener dog, hot dog, and then it's got a donut dinosaur. They're called Grow Foodimals. But I got this at Books A Million and it was $5.99. But... Um, as you can leave them in there for up to 72 hours to grow to its full capacity. Um, so yeah. Hopefully she really likes these. Again, not sure if it'll fit in her stocking. So it might end up being wrapped just because the box, this is so big. But um, she's going to love it. I didn't get a whole lot from Claire's because it can be kind of expensive. But Claire's just like the store for my child um it's just loaded with stuff that she would absolutely love riley does not have her ears pierced so she really likes these little stick-on earrings so you just stick them on this was 5.99 at claire's um but again i have to like keep them up so that i can give her like one pair at a time but she really likes these and they look very cute and they're fairly durable like as long as your kids not sitting there playing with them they stay pretty good next from Claire's I got her this little unikitty or unicorn wallet she's gotten to where she's super interested in my wallet which is not really good for me <laughs> so I thought maybe I could deflect by getting her her own water water wallet and it's like fuzzy and then like this part is glittery and it's got like this little thing so she could carry it on her wrist to make it a little bit easier. Ugh, let's open it up. Uh, and that's what it looks like on the inside. It's got like the little slots here. 
it's got a little zipper so it's got two big slots on this side and one big slot on this side with like the little extra card holder things but I think she's really gonna like this I'm she can put all the kinds of little things in here and she'll be entertained with this for sure it was $16.99 and you should know when I went to Claire's they were having a sale so I didn't get all of these things full price um, but I don't remember what I paid for them I just know that it was discounted <laughs> so I'm telling you the original price because if you go now I'm not really sure if they would be on sale but um again Riley's big into jewelry so I got her one more thing from Claire's and that is these little rings and she's really gonna like that I think they're super cute too I remember getting one of these as a kid and I loved it I wore these rings slam out as a kid so she's really gonna enjoy this this was $9.99 at Claire's. Oh, I almost forgot. This came from the Forestry Agricultural and Forestry Museum too. It's one of those little pop things that you flip out like that. I just dropped it. But it was a dollar. This was from Books and Million. It's just a little heart nope, nope. This was from this was from the Forestry and Agricultural Museum too. And the price sticker came off, so I'm not really sure how much it was, but it wasn't very much. It's a harmonica. Riley loves harmonicas. So this was definitely a good little purchase. And these are from Books A Million. They're little sticky notes. And they're super cute. She's got to where she loves the little pull-off sticky notes. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a pain because they're going to be all over the place. But she's going to love them, so it's going to be okay. These were $4.99 at Books A Million. And this was also at Books A Million. She loves these things. Like you squeeze it and the little but it's a hedgehog very cute and it was where's the price I don't see a price so sorry <laughs> I don't know what this costs and then to go with the little sticky notes I got her this little unicorn pen to play with and she will be closely monitored she's not going to be carrying this pen around drawing all of her stuff I'm not even really sure if this pen's going to work <laughs> But I got it from Books A Million, and it was $3.99. She loves unicorns, so she's going to love it. I got this from Hobby Lobby when I went and got everything, all of my Christmas decorations. This was there. Riley loves lip gloss, so I got her this cute little reindeer lip gloss balm thing. She's going to love it. I got this half off. I do remember that. It's originally $6.99, so I got it for... 350 I want to say really cute she's going to love that and then little tip if you're if you have an animal lover for a child go to tractor supply they had some of the cutest little things they have these little animal figurines and I got some for Riley last year so I thought that I would add on to it this year she loves farm animals so I got her this horse and they look realistic and they're really durable um I don't remember the price but if they're online I'll link it and let you know and then I got her a little baby cow she already has two of the full grown cows and I got her a baby horse she already has um three including this one of the full size horses so I got her the little baby <laughs> this one is so cute like so cute it's a little baby donkey again the prices aren't on here um but if I can find them I'll put them in the description box and then she loves stuffed animals so this is the last stocking stuffer that I got her this came from tractor supply too it's a little fox it's just a little plush cute little fox and it's just stinking adorable I love foxes um let's see is it the price is not on here too I'm sorry guys I'm dropping the ball with the prices but she's gonna love this and it's gonna go in her stocking so woohoo anyway that's all I got for Riley moving on to Weston okay so as you can tell it's a different day 
shirt changed, hair finished. Um, as I was filming this video, my camera died, and then my kids woke up, so I never got a chance to finish filming this yesterday. So, I'm back the next day, and I'm going to show you what I got Weston for his stocking. And again, linking as much of this as I can. Okay, so this was actually an accident. Um, my sister-in-law told me that she needed a, like gloves and a bonnet for her son, for her baby, for Christmas. And um, when I ordered it, I accidentally ordered two. Um, I think Amazon was glitching that day because there were a couple things that I got two of that I shouldn't have. Um, but let me check it out and show you. Now these are probably going to be a little big, but it's hard to find like legitimate warm gloves for like littles. Um, so these are definitely going to be big, but it's like gloves and it's got that inside of them. So it should keep his hands warm. Um, I mean, maybe it would work and then the hat will probably be too big. I don't know about that, but it's got this inside too. So it's meant to be pretty warm. Um, I mean, even though it'll be big, we can probably still stick his hands in these to help keep them warm. So this is going to go in his stocking, and this was from Amazon. Then this I got from Books A Million. It's a little hippo snack holder thing. Um, we actually don't have any of these, and they come in, they came in handy when Riley was little. Honestly, they could probably still come in handy for her, but um, we don't have any more. So I got one for Weston to keep little snacks in when we are on the go. It's a cute little hippo. Let's see if the price is on here. No, I don't see a price anywhere. But I got this from Books A Million, and if I can find this somewhere, I'll link it for you. Next, this we got from Bass Pro. Um, my husband is a big hat wearer, so we got him a little hat that says Born to Hunt. He has like a little John Deere hat, and he has um, a, a turtle hat, like um, what's the little squirt from Finding Nemo. Um, but we got him this, this cute little one that's a little bit more wearable. It says Born to Hunt. It was from Bass Pro. It was $12.99. Again, I'll try to link it for you guys. This was also from Bass Pro. Got him these cute little fox slippers. It started getting really cold, so these will definitely come in handy. They're going to be a little big, but they have like this right here. So I should be able to like cinch it on his ankle, and I don't think he'll be able to get them off. And it's really fuzzy on the inside, so it should keep his feet really warm. Plus, they're just stinking cute. I love foxes. These were $14.99. Um, next, from Books A Million. I don't remember how much this was, but Weston is really into balls. And I need to clean this a little bit because you can tell that people were messing with it. So I'm going to have to, like, wash it. Um, somehow, like, antibacterialize it. But it's this cute little ball, and it's, like got suction and it makes a little rattle sound he loves balls and we're trying to get him used to different textures because he's kind of weird when it comes to textures so I thought that since this was silicone -y and rubbery and just a different texture it would be pretty good for him plus it would be kind of easy for him to grab onto and he loves balls so got this for him from books a million and then this I got from tractor supply it's maybe it is metal and we will watch him when he's playing with this because it's kind of small but he plays with these at my in-laws house and he loves them um so I wouldn't just let him play with it by himself because it does have like smaller parts but if I'm right there next to him playing with him he can totally play with this um but it's got the little he loves tractors. He's going to love this. I got it from Tractor Supply, and the price is not on here, but he's going to love it. And I think my mom got him like a little cat, um, like a caterpillar dozer, maybe. 
Um, so cute. The next, or the next and last two things that we got for his stocking. If this doesn't fill his stocking up, I may put like some fruit, some of those little granola bars that babies eat in there because he likes those just to fill it up. But, um, <clears throat> these we got from the Mississippi Forestry and Agricultural Museum in Jackson. They have a little general store there that sells like old timey stuff and they had a section for toys that were more dated I guess you could say but they were so cute but I got him this little wooden worm that bends and twists and like see I thought this would be really fun it's really colorful and you can shape it into different shapes so I don't know it's just something for him to play with I thought it was really cute and again I'd probably watch him it's got like a rope like the rope is not going to break but I don't know how well like they're tied on the end so we'll be watching him while he's playing with this but I think he'll really like it plus look at the little face it's so cute and I don't remember oh it was four dollars at the forestry and agricultural museum if i can find this somewhere i'll link it but i'm not I'm making promises and last but not least is this little guy um it's just like a long wand it's got water in it and it's just kind of like a sensory type toy to just watch and be interested in and mesmerize with because you can see it's got like the glitter and the stars and moons um and sand maybe no those are bubbles like some type of bubble i don't know but um yeah it's fun to look at it might mesmerize him a little bit i just thought it was cute but this was 650 at the agricultural museum and that is all that i got both of my kids for their stockings this year um, I didn't go too crazy most years I go crazy and like the stockings are overflowing trust me I really reined it in this year <laughs> it may not seem like it but I really reined it in this year on the on the gifts because they don't need a lot of stuff I just got a couple of things here and there but I'm really excited about all of the things that I got for their stocking. I think they're really going to like everything. And again, I will link as much as I possibly can. I did want to quickly introduce myself. I know it's kind of late in the game because it's the end of the video. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Charity. I am a married mom of two. I have a three-year-old daughter named Riley and a 16-month-old son named Weston. On my channel, I post a lot of motivational content. I post cleaning decluttering, organizing, decorating. I'll post hauls here and there. I'll do cooking here, baking there. Every once in a while I'll throw in a vlog or like just a random video like taste testing snacks from another part of the world or um, like a little craft video with the kids, that type of thing. But if that's the type of content that you're interested, I hope that you'll stick around and consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that my video is worth watching and they are more likely to promote it. So please give it a big thumbs up. Comment below. Um, introduce yourself if you're new. I'd love to get to know you. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know. Comment anyway because I love talking to you guys. I love continuing to get to know you guys. YouTube is so much fun and then I get to meet people from all over wherein I would never get that chance any other way so I'm really thankful for YouTube and the community that it has introduced me to but yeah oh no 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 I'm not finished <laughs> subscribe um if you have not subscribed already to my channel it is free and it helps my channel out so much my goal is to get to 200 before the year is out I'm only at 150 and things have really slowed down for me since the election and all that kind of stuff so I'm not sure I'm gonna make my goal but I'm still going to try. So please, please, please subscribe. And if you want to keep up with me and my family on a day-to-day -day basis, you can follow me on Instagram. My handle is Momming with Charity. I post every single day 
um, 9.9 .9 out of 10 times anyway uh, and that I just post like the day what we're doing that day struggles we've dealt with victories you know that type of stuff it's very real it's very down to earth um, and that's also where you can keep up with YouTube like knowing what the next video might be getting sneak peeks if by some weird chance a video is going to be late you know that type of stuff so definitely go follow me over there I hope that everybody has a fantastic weekend. I hope that everybody has an amazing Christmas holiday season. I love you guys. Bye.